I don't think her character really added anything to the show and the romance it was kind of a snooze fest like I'm not really sure we needed that <laughs> The 2023 Chinese drama Let's Tug It is more than just a sports drama. It's a classic underdog story following the rookie tug of war team led by an unreliable coach trying to make a name for himself. This story weaves in resilience, friendship, triumph that will pull at your heartstrings and leave you with a warm and fuzzy feeling. Keep watching if you want to find out why this show is a must watch. It's not exactly an ensemble cast, but the story does follow a few different characters that are all leading up to the defining moment of their lives, which obviously is the tug of war championship match. I really like this style of storytelling where they jump from character to character to tell the story from different points of view. It reminds me a lot of Meteor Gardens, which was a main protagonist setup, but they spent an unusual amount of time telling the story from other characters perspectives and I think some people might not like this but personally I like the full picture and especially in a show like this where it is a team sport right so you want to know what all the team members are doing and it's not like they went in and told full stories about each of them but you did get a good glimpse of all of them and as each character's story unfolds you find yourself wanting to root for this little rag tag team and with each victory you found yourself even more and more invested if you're in the mood for an inspirational against all odds kind of show i highly recommend watching let's tug it currently available on ige side note you do have to have a subscription to watch the whole thing but if it's in your budget i personally think it's worth a watch if you've already seen this show, keep watching for the in-depth review and final thoughts. Beware the next portion of this video includes spoilers, which may ruin your viewing experience if you haven't seen the show already. Okay, hits, what we loved, what works, what landed, let's talk about it. I loved the idea that you can work really hard and achieve what you want to achieve. And this might be me just with the American dream, you know, you can do it and all of that, but this is a Chinese drama and we see the same theme. So it's not just me, it's definitely something that transcends culture. We saw this theme in Xiao Tang's character who was not as naturally gifted as Guo Yang, but he worked twice as hard and eventually was able to catch up to him. I can see the contrast between the two and I like the overall idea that if there's a will, there's a way. I also want to mention the team captain here because he had some physical limitations and they were essentially implying that he wasn't physically built for the sport. But I think there's something to be said about circumstances because maybe if he had more time to train up his body and his muscles, he could have caught up as well. Then again, situations do factor into reality, so maybe that's what they were trying to say with him not being able to do it. I enjoyed the cutesy romance between the two coaches. I thought it was sweet and it was kind of a relief because the main story could be pretty heavy at times, so it was a nice little break, right? The same goes for the teammate and the journalist. Remember the journalist student? Yeah, her. The same goes for them. They were really, really cute. But as far as the main quote unquote romance between Guo Yang and Xiao Xiao, we're gonna leave that for the misses section. Before we get into it though, back to the coach for a minute. I really liked his storyline. I think the message of it's never too late is such a great one, right? Like you can choose at any moment to turn your life around, to pursue your dreams, to do the thing. And I feel like that's a really inspirational story. So I, I love to see it. On to the misses, the shortcomings, the not so great moments. 
Unfortunately, the main romance was a miss for me. First of all, Xiao Xiao had like three flashbacks all season and it was like her entire life revolved around the one time that Guo Yang told her she should pursue music. I just felt like her character was very flat and the sole purpose was to idolize Guo Yang. I don't think her character really added anything to the show and the romance, it was kind of a snooze fest. Like, I'm not really sure we needed that. Final thoughts, like I said, I definitely think this show is worth a watch. It's not too dramatic. It's not too whimsical. It's just right, Goldilocks. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.